this right here you're looking at the next designer it girl mark my words let's do this review welcome back to the channel everyone the santa maria here yes i am finally talking about the newest release from the house of burberry that is burberry goddess yes for the ladies burberry decided to give us something new last year they gave us burberry hair elixir which i did get i did review it and i loved it it was the first burberry hair i liked and i said okay burberry's giving us something new with goddess and it's going a totally different direction from the hers I'm intrigued. So I was literally scrolling Instagram a few weeks ago and then I saw this head popped up and I said, oh, that's a nice looking bottle. And when I saw what the notes composition would be, I really got intrigued. When I saw this was going to be a take on vanilla and lavender, I was like, ooh. We don't get a lavender fragrance every day from the feminine fragrances. Now, men get lavender all the time, but we don't get it per se. The last time we really got a good lavender scent was Martin Guerlain, and that's just the honest to God truth. So when I saw that Burberry was gonna do it, and I tend to like Burberry's DNA, I said, hmm, let's get into it. Fast forward, I saw it was finally available at Sephora as well as Ulta's. I searched the whole, is it available in your area for store pickup, all that type of thing. Ulta in my area came up and I said, you know what, I'm gonna go get this fragrance and I did just that. <laughs> Shout out to my Ulta actually having all sizes out as well as the tester so we could test it because y'all Ulta has been struggling with the whole tester thing. I'm just being real. Some of y'all probably seen my rant about that in my Instagram stories. If you're not following me on Instagram, you should be. That's where you get your day to day information from me. But yes, went to the store, was able to spray it. So no, this was not a blind buy. And I've had it for a few weeks again. I've been wearing it on skin, wore it out, took it on a trip with me and everything. So I am able to do its full dedicated review for you as all. As always when it comes to a dedicated review, I rate fragrances by four categories. The first category being mood, and that is simply how does this fragrance make me feel? What time of year am I wearing it to? What type of event? We talk about it there. Second is strength, and that is on a scale of one to 10, with one being this ain't nothing but pretty water in a bottle, to 10 being nuclear juice. You gotta scrub it in order to get it off. Probably use some alcohol at that. <laughs> Third category is longevity, and that is how many hours long lasting is this fragrance on my body and or clothing? Then the fourth category is simply, is this a compliment getting fragrance? That's a yes or no. Also, I will be doing some comparisons in here because I know there's been a lot of talk about comparisons and things, so I have my own take on that. But now you know how I do things, let's get on into it. Lipstick of the day today, everyone. I'm giving a little pre-fall here, yes. I'm winning with an Odie but goodie. This is MAC Diva. Check this out, which is a maroon type of color. Let me know what you think in the comments below and it'll be in the description box so y'all don't have to wonder about it. <laughs> Next up, fragrance of the day is literally the fragrance that I am reviewing and that is the Burberry Goddess. By the way, I picked up the 1.6 fluent ounce size because y'all know that's what I like, the 50 mils. Y'all know elves, your girl likes a 50 mil bottle, but they did have the other sizes available and I will get into that in a minute. But yeah, that's the fragrance of the day. I am wearing it. <laughs> Let's get into the specs breakdown of this fragrance. This is a hot off of the press release for 2023. So I'm going to call this a end of summer, early fall release for 2023. Again, it's the House of Burberry. Concentration of this fragrance, it is an Eau de Parfum. And here is the box for you all to see. The box is straight to the point in my opinion. <laughs> and then most importantly, here is the bottle. All of the sizes of the bottles literally look like this, which I like. There is no variation from the 30 mil on up to the 100 mil, so that's good. This fragrance, believe it or not, this is a very fully comprehensive release. Normally brands slow drop releases, particularly when it's a totally new fragrance for their house, meaning they only release one size of it, but no y'all. We have a 30 mil size. The 30 mil size retails for $100. Then we have the 50 mil size. That's what I have right here. The 50 mil size retails for $129. Then we have the 100 mil size, which is the big daddy size. That retails for $168. I gotta go on ahead and say it. Let's get the elephant out the room. Let's discuss it. This is pretty pricey for a design. It is. The fact that the 30 mil is $100 is like, wow. I remember when that used to be the 50 mil pricing for a designer, and in some cases, even the 100 mil price. So yeah, if you have some Ulta points or friends and family sale going on at Sephora or any other upcoming sales, I think personally that would be your time to get it so you can get some type of a discount on this kind of pricey designer. Just gotta go on ahead and talk about it. So if you go on Burberry's official website, Website. This isn't talked about enough for me. There is already a refill for it. So yes, the bottle is refillable. They have a refill, they have a body lotion for it. There's also, I want to say a shower gel too. So if you really like this scent and you want to layer it or not, you have to go to Burberry officially to get the auxiliary items to go along with your fragrance. So you can be smelling like Burberry Goddess all over and all day. So they got you there. <laughs> 
Now let's talk about the notes of Burberry Goddess. Okay, so we have notes of vanilla, lavender, and cacao, and ginger. Then we have middle notes of vanilla caviar, and then we have base notes of vanilla absolute. So please understand right now, this is for the vanilla lovers. If you do not like vanilla, stay far away from this fragrance, period. And especially if you're sensitive to lavender, which lavender can be kind of challenging, you have to be prepared for this. So I highly recommend testing this out again. My store had the testers out. So this is one you can actually try before you buy it. And don't have to worry about trying to do a risky blind buy. So I'm gonna go ahead and spray this fragrance on our handy dandy test strip because you know, I like to reacquaint myself with the fragrance on paper. And I'm also giving you all my experience, what I had in store when I literally had my first impressions of it. And I'm gonna go ahead and put spray a little bit on my arm too, just to refresh the fragrance on my body. So y'all, let me tell you straight up, when I went in the store, I sprayed it on paper and I also sprayed it on skin. I was prepared to fragrance shop today because I didn't have any fragrance on. I sprayed it and immediately y'all straight up, if you just go by what was on the paper, just knee jerk reaction, I would've said, oh, this ain't nothing but Mon Guerlain, right? Mm -hmm. So luckily I had other things to pick up while I was in old. So I needed some like nail polish. I needed some new top coat, other things. That allowed the fragrance to rest on my skin for a few minutes and develop, right? Y'all. This is one you gotta wear on your skin because as I wore it on my skin, me starting to say, oh, this ain't no Mamanga Lawn. That changed because I got more of the vanillas that they were talking about, the cacao. It got more gourmandy the more I wore it. And fast forward, even as I drove home with the bag, of course, because <laughs> I didn't make the purchase at that moment, it smelled more yummier and sweeter the longer I wore it. So this is a scent that yes, it will develop on skin. So I know a lot of people have tried to write it off just by what they smell in store just on paper. Spray it on your skin. Gotta spray this one on your skin. I just stand by that one 100%. That's just the truth where you, you experience perfumery. But anyway, back to this fragrance. So on paper, I still feel that way. You get the lavender in the opening more so than anything, but as this is already starting to settle down while I'm sitting here filming this, that sweetness is coming through. And then that ginger too gives a little zing. It gives a little brightness to it in my opinion. But absolutely, the vanilla is the star of the show. It's the star of the show and I'm enjoying this. I just can't even hold it. Y'all can already kind of tell about my reaction, y'all. I'm already digging this fragrance. So, so now let's do the rating system because I know that's what y'all really care about. So the mood of Burberry Goddess. Straight up, this is a fall scent. This is a perfectly like early fall type of fragrance. It's literally August when I'm filming this, when it just came out. So we already start to transition. So think a Labor Day beyond for all my American viewers. That's what this scent is. It is definitely giving me early fall. We're it's like I can tell like even now in Nashville our nights are starting to get cooler and I'm wanting to reach for this scent so that's how I know. Wonderful as a transition into early fall fragrance so that is absolutely the move of the scent. Strength of this fragrance y'all, it's a seven. It is a solid seven so I get above average but is it a beast? No it is not. This is a cozy scent. It's very cozy but it ain't thick. So I wouldn't necessarily characterize this as, oh, this is a heavy, thick vanilla. It's the vanilla of all vanillas. No, it is not. This is a very easy, wearable, bright vanilla is what this is. So yeah, strength is a seven. Now let's talk about the longevity of this fragrance. And y'all, let me tell you something. It holds its own. I get a solid six to seven hours every single time I wear this fragrance without me having to touch it up. Once we pass the seven hour point, then it does turn into a skin scent. I will have to retouch it. But for a designer fragrance, and particularly a vanilla, vanilla is one of those fragrance notes that is either, either it can go the distance or it, it can wear a little light. And usually lately, a lot of them are wearing a little light to me, but I'm impressed. This is a solid longevity. I'm here for it. Six, seven hours straight up. That's what I get. Now, last category. Is this a compliment getting fragrance? Absolutely. freaking -lutely. So this is how I knew I had made a good decision to purchase this, not just falling into the hype or even just wanting to review it, that type of thing. Wore it into the house from when I had sprayed it on my body at the store, right? Got into bed and everything. I was working on our wedding registry and things with the head elf. And he was like, you smell very sweet and nice. I don't know what you have on, but I like it. Y'all know I don't fish for a compliment out of him or don't ask him to comment on my fragrance, but he said it on his own. He's like, I really think that's sweet and nice. I like it. Fast forward, wore it when we had went home and took care of some other business that we needed to do and I had it on and he commented on it and he said, I really like what you have on today. And it was again, the Burberry Goddess. So I said, okay. Two different environments, he's digging it, it's a win. Wore it around my family as well. And my mother was like, oh, I really like that. That's a very pleasant scent. 
So all in all, absolutely, this has been tested in different environments. And most importantly, the head of likes it and I like it. So it's a win certified compliment getter. And let me go ahead and tell y'all this right now. Straight up, Burberry Goddess is signature scene worthy. Absolutely. It's for my ladies that want an easy reach scent. You know you want to smell nice and you know it's going to be pleasant. You want to have a little bit of brightness. Hello, that ginger and that lavender. But you also want to smell a little yummy and cozy. All the vanilla that's in here. So absolutely, I think this is the next designer. It girl fragrance. I think more and more people are going to want this, particularly going into fall. And I definitely see this being a holiday wish list item for a lot of people. I see a lot of gift sets coming out with it because they're already starting to come out with cute gift sets. I see Sephora has one like the travel size and they got like a mini in it so i'm already seeing wonderful marketing around this but y'all this fragrance is actually good it is good i know people try to hate on designers particularly in fragrance community okay niche knobs y'all gotta stop doing that that's not nice okay designers have a place here just saying a lot of us started with designers never forget <laughs> but i think this is a solid release so now let me tell y'all what vibe i get for its comparison to other fragrances to me in my collection going back to when i first smelled it and what it gave me kind of similarity to in my opinion i get a little bit of the mon Guerlain, the intense version emphasis on the mon Guerlain intense version the intense version if you don't know has more vanilla in it than the original mon Guerlain. so that's why to me I get why people kind of associate this with it, but it's still a different type of DNA. Guerlain, Guerlain's take on vanilla is just its own unique thing, by the way. If you haven't experienced Guerlain as a house and how they do vanilla, you're missing out. It's a beautiful treat. Similar notes, but they smell different to me. And then the other thing concerning the whole vanilla thing, naturally, when we talk about vanilla, Kaoli Vanilla 28 is gonna always enter the conversation because she has been the go-to vanilla fragrance, I wanna say a good two, three years now. So I understand why this came up. And I do kinda see it again, it's a vanilla, and this is a sweet vanilla, but still, the closest thing I would say is you would have to mix these two in order to get Burberry Goddess situation, but it's still not a total dupe, but yeah. So to me, I just want to address that. I get the similarities, but no, they are not the same. So that is why I say, if you go off a of paper, you're going to say, oh, I got margarine, I don't need it. Cool, but try it on your skin because it, I could have done it as well. And keep in mind, I have both margarines, original and intense, and I still feel like, no, I want the goddess. So that's just my best take on it. I'm digging it and I'm here for it. I think again, this is going to be one of the top, if not the top newest designer release that's gonna come out, especially now as we head into the fall and holiday season, which everybody's gonna roll out all their new scents because that's how they work. Spoiler alert, holiday for beauty starts in October, just so y'all know. So yeah, I think this is going to be it. This is gonna be the one everybody wants. And there's a reason why you're seeing a whole lot of talk about it, a whole lot of content around it because it's good. It's good, it's not just hype, it's actually good. So that is my take on Burberry Goddess. I'm enjoying wearing it and I will continue to wear it because I like it, I do. <laughs> so let me know your thoughts. Have you tried Burberry Goddess? Are you here for it? Do you feel like it's just overhyped? Are you sick of seeing it already? <laughs> let me know your comments because it was y'all are very opinionated. Y'all have been already commenting on when I first showed the unboxing for it. Y'all was like, oh, we wanna know the thoughts. I told y'all the video was coming and here we are. So definitely let me know your thoughts and as usual, I will catch y'all in the next video. Bye y'all.